guys, there is nothing like a well-seasoned cast iron pan. I'm cooking eggs tonight for my husband and son in my cast iron skillet. And it just, the eggs just pull away from it beautifully because it's well seasoned. So I will bring you guys back and show you how I treat my pan after I'm finished cooking in it. Okay guys, so I was talking about caring for your cast iron. You can see I have my cast iron pan here in the sink. I'm going to turn the hot water on. Now, this is a point of contention with some people. I do put soap on my cast iron pan. Um, I don't, I try not to scrub it hard um, and that kind of thing, but I will put soap on it. And unfortunately, my eggs got dried on because I was waiting on my husband and son to leave for scouts before I started making this video. And the eggs are mostly in that outer area. They didn't stick to the bottom of the pan like anything that's there that's eggs. It's just where I didn't get it out of the pan. Um, and that's pretty normal. So, when I've got something that's giving me a little harder time to get off, it just takes a little more elbow grease is really all it comes down to. Now, my pan is pretty well seasoned. Um, I think I've had this pan probably about 15 years, if I had to guess. Uh, I know it's older than my kid is, so, and I go through seasons where I use it a lot and seasons where I don't use it a lot, just kind of depending on what's going on in our lives, what we're eating, um, and that kind of thing. But as you can see, there's not a ton of soap on my sponge, because um, I'm not... Your, your seasoning is where the oil in your pan forms a carbon layer. And you don't want to remove all the oil from your pan. If you get in here with, you know, a scotch bright pad and a heavy duty dish soap, it's going to cause harm to the coating of your pan. You can see, maybe you can see, when I wipe, it separates. That's because it's still oily under there. Um, and that's what you want. Now, if I have a newer pan that I haven't seasoned well, I will wash it out with salt and oil mixed together. And I kind of make a salt and oil scrub. And I scrub it to get all the food matter out. And then once I've gotten all the food matter out, I will just uh, finish up the way I'm going to finish this pan up. So I'm going to give this one more rinse and then we will head over to the stove to finish this pan. Alright friends, we're over at the stove now and I have set my pan on the eye. Um, it's on medium to medium high heat. And I'm going to let this warm up for a few minutes. While that warms up, I am going to grab my bacon grease. Y'all may have heard me say before about a southern girl worth her grits. Well... In this case, a southern girl worth her grits always has grease in the bacon jar, or the bacon grease jar. Y'all, I'm running mighty, mighty low. So what we're going to do is let the heat warm this up, 
and I'll know when it's getting warm because oil will actually start to come out of the pores of the pan a little bit. I'm going to pause you right now, and when it starts to do that, I'll see if we can get footage of that. So I'll be back in a few, guys. All right, friends, I don't know if you can see it or not, but we're starting to get little oily spots on the top of the pan. You can see them here. And then all these little bitty dots that are popping up on the pan. That's where as I warm it, the oil is starting to come back out of the pan. And that's when I know that the finish or the texture of the pan is open and it's ready to receive more oil. I went ahead and turned my eye off and I'm going to take a paper napkin and this is controversial because some people will not use paper to apply the oil to their pan. I've never had any problems with it. So, like I said, the eye's off. I've got my bacon grease on my towel or on my um, napkin. And we're going to give her a rub. And you just want to rub this around and get a nice, even, thin coating. You don't want this to be sitting in baking, bacon grease. You just want a thin coating on there. So I will go back and try to rub a little bit of that out of there. I'm actually gonna get another paper towel because I feel like that's still a little much. Sorry guys, and oh, I had extra towels sitting next to me and didn't see them. So like I said, I'm going to rub that out and get it so that the coating is thin. I also still, every time I like to rub the top of the pan too with oil, um, the outside of the pan is very well seasoned because probably soap has never touched the outside. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's nice and glossy and shiny on the outside. But I, now that I've rubbed this down and then rubbed back most of the oil out of it, I'm going to let it sit here on this hot eye for the rest of the night. That'll help to carbonize the oil that I put in there. And then tomorrow morning I will put it away and it'll be ready to use the next time I need it. So guys, take care of your cast iron pans and they will last you a lifetime. And uh, I'll be back soon with more videos for you. Take care guys. Bye bye.